Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is uh, we've got one of our QSCs, one of our uh, PLD, it's a 4.2 amplifier. And what we're going to be doing is uh, testing it to be used for uh, some sub duty. And down here uh, we have one of our subs. And what we're going to do is set our PLD amplifier here to four channel mode. So all four channels are going to be combined together to produce one large channel. And as it stands right now, uh, obviously everything is muted here, but uh, everything here is set to a four channel mode. And this is usually what, how we use it for uh, monitors. So what we're doing here, let's move over here, is we've got a um, Mackie. It's our Pro FX12, just a basic uh, board we use for very small events. And down here we've got uh, just a regular CD player. And that is all tied into... This is an older uh, DBX, the drive rack. Uh, drive rack PA to be exact. Anyway, right now we've just got it set up on a basic uh, two-way setup. And if we look at the... Let's see here. If we look at the crossover part of it, I've got a crossing over at 90, and really uh, anything above that uh, we're not too concerned about, and that's because the only thing we've got hooked up right now is the sub. So the uh, low output of that comes over to our QSC. Okay, so here we are on the back of the, uh, the PLD amplifier, and uh, right here, this is our input. This is coming from the uh, this is coming from the, the low out on the drive rack PA. We've got it connected into uh, channel one here, and then there's two, three, and four. And then over here, so it's pretty basic. Uh, here's our output right here. This goes right down. Ah, there we go. This goes right down to the uh, sub. And that's all there is to it. All right, we've got it set up, uh, as you saw there, as a basic stereo. And we're just using one channel out of this right now. And uh, let's give this a try. I'm just going to uh, play the CD, and we're going to turn the volume up. Maybe you can hear some of the bass. Uh, I know the camera's not that good at picking up bass, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll come through. So all we're going to do here is, is show that uh, only one channel is hooked up to it, and we can sort of get an idea of how loud it is. So it's sort of uh, rattling a little bit of stuff, but you can tell it's um. Mm -hmm. I want to say these are um, each channel's rated at 400 watts. You can tell it's barely coming on. Um, it is uh, rather uh, bassy in here. All right, so we can see it's only working on one channel. So let's let's put it together so all four work. So the only thing we we're interested in, uh, as I said, was the um, the bass part of it. All right. And actually, what we're going to use is a preset. It's one of the internal presets into here. Uh, preset recall. Now here, you can tell it's got all four channels, and I just got it set for monitor. Which means the uh, which means uh, the low end on these is, I think is rolling off at about uh, 65 hertz. So we strictly use these for monitors. Um, actually, there's one here below it, but it's not on. Uh, we use these for monitors, but uh, in a pinch, uh, we can use them for full range and even for bass. So let's get this set over to um, all four channels. Uh, let's see here. Actually, let me, uh, let me go back. The presets, yes, our presets, preset recall. Okay. All right. We're just going to move along here. And at some point over here, 
actually maybe in the other direction, but at some point here, uh, we're going to come to the regular uh, presets that they have available. And the ones that you see out here, here we go, there's fixed. I um, hope you can see this on here, but the U stands for user. And move that over here. F stands for fixed. So here they're combining channels A and B. C and D are separate. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the one here to combine all four channels into one. Uh, yeah, we can do this. Um, now let's do this one here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is combine all these channels into one. Okay, it's going to say enter to confirm selection. Okay, some settings just took place inside. I don't know if you could hear those or not. All right. So now we're ready to apply some uh, music to it. Now, if you noticed here, when I push the mute, I just push one, and then all four of them go. Okay, all four channels you can see here are all combined. All right, let's give this a try. All right. So here, this is our one input, I'm using input A, but it's all, all the outputs are combining into one, and actually I'm using the output of A for this. So this went from 400 watts, a channel into the sub, and now it's at 1600 watts. Let's see if uh Yeah, I don't think anything is gonna be set. Crossover. Oh. And a little too much bass there, it was actually a cousin of C D to skip. Okay, yes, everything's flat, everything's flat, there's no high passing or anything like that going on. Alright, so... Okay, with the subharmonic set, let's give this a try. I can tell from here what's happening. I don't know if the mic's able to pick it up, but there is definitely a good 35, 40 hertz going on. So, anyway. So, anyway, this is how we take an amplifier, the 4-channel uh, PLD, the 4.2, and also works with the 4.3 and 4.5 as well. This is how we take the four channel amplifier and convert it into uh, one mono amplifier.
All right. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck on your next show.